spread. The chill of autumn air has made its annual return to the Midwest, but that hasn't stopped the red-hot Northern Illinois Huskies. Gather your friends and family, fire up the grill, and get ready for a little pigskin. NIU football is next on Comcast Sportsnet. It's a brisk but beautiful Saturday here in DeKalb, Illinois. The Eastern Michigan Eagles at 1 and 6 take on the Northern Illinois Huskies, a perfect 7 and 0. Oh. Glad to have you with us here at Husky Stadium, along with Bob Kamel, a former assistant here at Northern Illinois, Michigan and Notre Dame. I'm Mike Cousins. Bob, we look at this Northern Illinois team. They're riding hot right now at number 18 in the BCS rankings, 23 straight wins, most in the nation here at home. They come in against a down Eastern Michigan team, but they cannot look back past their opponent. I don't think there's any question, Mike. One of the things they have to do today is to play the course, not the opponent. Realistically speaking, the Northern Illinois Husky football team knows that Eastern Michigan is struggling. They have to play the course, not the opponent, because every week you either get better or you get worse. You never stay the same. Star quarterback Jordan Lynch for Northern Illinois last week set an FBS rushing record with 316 yards as he raises his stock in the Heisman race. Mike, I, I am, have run out of superlatives describing this young guy. I've done three games here, and every week, week in and out, he continues to surprise me. One of the things he wants to work on this week is footwork and his passing game. Lynch has continued to improve throughout the course of the season, leading Northern Illinois to be one of just 10 undefeated teams left in the country and the only one in the MAC. Now on the other side for Eastern Michigan, an unfortunate event in their program last week, the death of wide receiver Demarius Reed. They're playing in his honor, trying to find positives here today as they look for an upset against Northern Illinois. Well, I don't think there's any question this football team is playing with a heavy heart. One of the things they have to do today, however, is to run the football. The best defense against Northern Illinois is to keep Lynch and his teammates on the sideline. That'll be the story for Eastern Michigan. They try and contain Lynch, the Heisman hopeful, and the undefeated Huskies. We've got opening kickoff coming your way next. Northern Illinois, Eastern Michigan. You can MRI at MOI because one size doesn't fit everyone. MOI offers two different MRI options. Our full body MRI allows physicians and radiologists to see multiple high contrast images of both bone and muscle, while our smaller extremity MRI is for when only an arm or leg needs to be scanned. Parents often accompany their children during this relatively brief scan. Whichever MRI your doctor chooses, you'll have easy access and prompt results from the team at MOI. You can MRI at MOI. I love pep rallies. Call 1-888-FRONTIER to get in the game. Frontier high-speed internet for just $19.99 per month with qualifying phone service. And get our two-year price guarantee with no contract. Plus a free Wi-Fi router. People, I'm Frank. Just a fan, not a mascot. You can't get BS from a buffalo. Call 1-888-FRONTIER and switch today. NIU fans, when you enter the Village Commons Bookstore, you're entering Husky Country. VCB is the official site for NIU Athletics, featuring the NIU Husky logo on a wide range of hats, t-shirts, shorts, sweats, and NIU logo gifts and accessories. Whether you're a student, graduate, or fan of NIU Athletics, the Village Commons Bookstore is your official Husky headquarters. Visit us at the stadium on game day or at our store in DeKalb at 901 Lucinda or on the web at www.vcbs.com. Northern Illinois University. Grit. Determination. Tenacity. We are Huskies. Champions. In the classroom. In competition. In life. We are Northern Illinois University. Learning today. Leading tomorrow.
On a cold day in DeKalb, Illinois, forget the jacket, forget the hat. You might need a coat of fur to stay warm here on this brisk day. Northern Illinois taking the field as they get set to take on the Eastern Michigan Eagles. We're just moments away from kickoff. We're going to join the third member of our broadcast crew, Kelly Kroll, and today's sideline reports are presented by Frontier Communications, the official telecommunications company of NIU Athletics. Kelly. Thanks a lot, Mike. Well, I've got both the hat and the coat, everything, and I got also the chance to talk to head coach of the Huskies, Rod Carey, before the game. He says his team is pumped. He loved the energy he saw from them during warm-ups, and he goes, by no means will they be overlooking this Eastern Michigan team today. He knows they have to come out and take care of business, and as for the Eagles, their head coach, Ron English, said despite a very emotional week, he wants to see his guys come out today and put together four quarters, playing hard despite the score. He goes, they need that lesson and perseverance and fighting. Understand that when they walk off this field, they need to be proud of what they've done, guys. All right, thanks, Kelly. Stay warm down there. Time now for our Tools for Success, presented by Tool Time Rentals. For all the tools to get the job done, visit tooltimedecalb.com. Coach Bob Kamel, what are today's tools for success? Well, Eastern Michigan has to run the football, use as much of the clock as possible, and keep the NIU offense off the field. They must make NIU play on a long field by winning the kicking game. Northern Illinois, as I mentioned before, play the course, not the opponent. Realistically speaking, they know the Northern Illinois Huskies that the Eastern Michigan University is struggling right now in football. And play the course, not the opponent. As I mentioned before, every week you get better or you get worse. You never stay the same. Just about set for kickoff. Northern Illinois will receive the opening kick, and the Huskies have played as well at home as just about any team in the country. 23 straight home wins. Their last loss, September 26, 2009. Their last or rather I should say 20 straight Mac wins as well. They are on a roll, looking to improve to 8-0, and we are underway in DeKalb. Opening kick back from the five, and it'll be just across the 15, where the Huskies offense, led by Jordan Lynch, will take over the Walter Camp National mm -hmm. Offensive Player of the Week after he rushed for 316 yards in a win over Central Michigan last week. Jordan Lynch in this NIU offense has to get off to a quick start. They have not. They have struggled early on in three or four games. This game, they have to get off to a quick start. Formula for success has been to have Lynch run the ball. And he gets a short gain on first down. Cameron Stingley, a big option for them. Their second biggest running threat, of course, behind Lynch. And Coach, a big part of the success that this team has had is the consistency of that offensive line. Well, this is one of the finest coached offensive lines in the country. I'll argue that with anybody, and they have been for the past three or four years. Screen pass to the outside for Lynch to Tommy Lee Lewis, one of his top targets last week. Pulled in 10 catches for 54 yards and a touchdown in that win over Central Michigan, a 38-17 victory. Now it's a third and one for the Huskies. Keeps it again. He's got the first down and brought down from behind after a gain of about five on the carry. I think one of the things you mentioned, Michael, early is that offensive line. Great offense, great run blocking here, pad on their pad, bringing their legs. Each and every week they've progressed and become better. They are, they are a special, special group. Luke Eke is the tight end out there with Jared Volk. Some blocking for Lynch. And he throws a little bit too long Mastermind on the sideline looking for Deron Brown. Coverage from Willie Greer. The Eastern Michigan defense, they're going to have to contain Lynch. They're going to have to contain everybody today. It has been tough for them in their last four games. They've averaged about 50 points given up and more than 520 yards per game going back the last four weeks. 
after the incompletion, second and ten for Lynch and the Huskies. And a short dump to the flat. Room across the 40. Now across midfield. And finally, the play comes to an end into Eastern Michigan territory. James Spencer takes the dump pass and picks up a first down and then some for Northern Illinois. In the old days, more traditional football before the spread offenses, that is basically just a sweep play. Except the quarterbacks, obviously, that turning around and tossing the ball. Lynch back to the outside for Tommy Lee Lewis. Pickup of two to Lewis. Lewis and Deron Brown, really his two biggest receiving options. 58% of his completions go to those two wide receivers. Lynch under pressure on the screen pass, finds Lewis. He's up across the 30 and right near the first down marker. These are great. These are great plays to start to get quick passes, safe passes. See Lynch under duress right there, right to Tommy Lee Lewis, number 10. Excellent job of yards after catch, which which has been his hallmark throughout the entire year. 5'7", 155 pounds. Not a big wide receiver, but definitely a quick wide receiver and sure-handed. Hand off on first down. Looks like no gain on the play. Here for Northern Illinois. I think one of the things the defensive line for Eastern Michigan has to do is establish the line of scrimmage. And what I, what I mean by that is make contact and make sure the play is, doesn't hit a vertical crease and let it go to the right flank or the light, left flank. And all of a sudden, everybody up front becomes linebackers. Draco Smith, the left of Lynch in the gun. On a second and 10, Lynch the carry. And he picks up nine yards up ahead to the 20 yard line. Excellent play calling here by Bob Cole, the offensive coordinator and the quarterback coach, mixing the plays up. Again, how much can you say about this offensive line? Very positive. They play together. And the one thing they have great is great technique. And technique's critically important. The first step where do I place my hand? How do I play with the guy alongside of me? All of that offensive line returning starters from last year, a big key component to the success of this team. Run beat by Lynch. Last Lynch. year, they, they were a great offensive line. Trivia question, who was the head coach last year? Excuse me, the offensive line coach last year. The current head coach, Rod Carey. Rod Carey, and coaching you say, never coached a position the head coach has coached. But in talking to Rod Carey, he has nothing but great things to say about Joe Tripati, the current offensive line coach. Rod Carey took over at the end of last year in bowl action for Northern Illinois. Now in his first full season as head coach after the departure of Dave Duran to North Carolina State. And there's a first down for Northern Illinois, plowing their way on the ground here on this first drive. Up tempo, quick. Spencer, good leg drive, good balance. Tough to bring down. So first in goal on the six yard line, Stingley in the backfield. He's a lead blocker here for Lynch, who takes it up to the five and doesn't get much more. Met up there by Great eBay, one of the linebackers for Eastern Michigan. And talking to Coach Carey, getting you back to that offensive line deal again. He actually had a great relationship with Coach Lambrover, who was the offensive line coach for Jerry Kill, the previous uh, uh, head coach. And talked a lot about coaching this offensive line, the personalities of guys, and that type of transition, that type of help is huge. Lynch goes to the end zone, flag, and a completion to Brown. It's a touchdown, and on the 12th play of the drive, the Huskies punch it in. Pass interference. Defense number 33. That penalty by Lewis to Klein. Touchdown. Six nothing Huskies as they impose their will to start the ball game. Now Matthew Sims for the extra point and some early motion. Yeah. 
Offside defense. Number 95. Number 95. Number 95. Number 95. Foul is penalized past the distance to the goal. The try down will be played. Stan Evans, our referee, here on a windy Saturday in DeKalb, Illinois. Well, throughout the week, head coach Ron English for Eastern Michigan said it was just little things for his team that have then snowballed into bigger things. So back-to-back -back penalties there on an extra point. And Sims will get another try. Looking to make it 7 nothing Huskies. Sims try up and it is good. And Northern Illinois jumps out in front here at home 7 nothing. 12 plays. And the cap, a five-yard touchdown pass. Northern Illinois with the early lead. Is there something... All on Comcast Sportsnet is presented by Kish Health System. Be health empowered. By Castle Bank, investing in our communities since 1856. And by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Find value at Farm and Fleet. 20 straight MAC wins for Northern Illinois, and their first drive yields seven points here at home at Husky Stadium. Seven zip, 10:44 first quarter with Kelly Krull on the sidelines. Bob Kamel, Mike Cousins, glad to have you along. And coach, looking at that drive, 13 plays, 82 yards. They pretty much imposed their will on the EMU defense first time down the field. Well, one of the goals of Rod Carey and his staff was to get off to a good start. We spoke to him earlier this week. Again, I mentioned it earlier about, you know, they struggled early on in some games. That was a very prolific, prolific, if you will, uh, series of plays. Great play calling. But here, a couple other things never take for granted. Communication by the sideline and getting the plays in a timely fashion. Communication from the booth to the sideline. Again, getting plays in in a very timely fashion. Excellent, excellent game management, excellent communication, just a great job. Eastern Michigan set to receive and go on offense for the first time. The Eagles 1-6, and 0-3 oh and in Mac play, and they've got Tyler Allen back deep to return. And he takes, in other words, Jaleel Candy to take the kickoff, and he's out to the 30, and brought down about the 32-yard line. Canty was the up man. He took the shorter kick from Weedle, and that's where Eastern Michigan will take over. Well, Eastern Michigan has to take care of the football early on. They have to be able to run the football, and they cannot have what we would call unforced errors in this game, penalties, fumbles, interceptions, things like that. They almost have to play a penalty-free game and play a, a game again, no unforced errors. Bob, here's a bit of a surprise. The freshman, Brogan Roback from Ohio, getting the start today over the incumbent, redshirt junior Tyler Benz. Ron English wanted to change. First carry goes to Bronson Hill, their big running back. He's got an Eastern Michigan first down. Carry of 16 in the first play of scrimmage. Real nice job here over the offensive line. Carrying out their blocks, the young guy Bronson uh, Hill finds the lateral crease, takes the lateral crease, and 5'10, 208 pounds, hard to bring down. Young guy from Grand Rapids, Michigan, from a proud high school football tradition, Grand Rapids Central Camp. Roll back again to Hill and into a pile. So it's roll back. The freshman getting the start at quarterback, a four-star recruit out of Toledo St. John High School in Ohio, and Bronson Hill is their biggest feature on this offense that has struggled to move the ball through the air this year. Well, right now, what we're seeing is, you know, we're seeing a team playing together, playing with emotion, coming off the football, and again, Bronson Hill, a force to be determined. Quick wrap up by middle linebacker Boomer Mays. That'll be a focus on defense for Northern Illinois. Last week against Central Michigan, they allowed just 75 rushing yards on the season, allowing 28 points a game. Well, I mentioned Bronson Hill before, forced to be determined. Why I mean determined is, can he carry the mail throughout the entire game? If he can, he will be a force. If not, 
they would have to go to the passing game. But as you mentioned before, Northern Illinois is, is really kind of uh, in a situation where they have to work hard at stopping the running game, stymieing the running game of Eastern Michigan, forcing this young quarterback to throw the football. And a third and six, Roback on the move. And he's knocked down on the run. Michael Santa Caterina, who's been out the last few weeks with an ankle injury, comes in and ends the run. Big time play by Santa Caterina. Watch him come up here and fill real quick. Number seven, Geneva High School, coached by Rob Wasinski in high school. Also a great linebacker at Northern Illinois. And you know the young guy came here as a walk-on. Good for him. Nice play there, young man. True freshman Austin Barnes to punt it away. And into the end zone for a touchback. 7 0 in Northern Illinois. Huskies on offense when we come back. The 17th annual Marathon Mac Football Championship game returns to Ford Field in Detroit Friday, December 6th. Sports sedan from Mazda 6. What do you drive? It's a beautiful autumn afternoon. Northern Illinois with a 7-0 lead first quarter on top of Eastern Michigan. The first half of NIU football on Comcast Sportsnet is presented by Frontier Communications, the official telecommunications company of NIU Athletics. At home or work, Frontier Communications is your local provider for high-speed internet. For more information, visit Frontier.com. Jordan Lynch set to drive the offense here. Five of six in the first drive. Looking as good as he has all season long, leading this team to a perfect 7-0 mark. Well, he's so poised. He's so mature. He doesn't get rattled under caress. And again, as I mentioned earlier, how many? What you'd have to have a thesaurus to describe all the adjectives, uh, positive adjectives about this young guy. He's, he's just a special talent. He's a special talent across all of college football. Ron English, the head coach for Eastern Michigan, told us during the week, you don't really stop Jordan Lynch. You don't even really hope to contain him, but you try and force things that you want to do with this offense because he said that what Rod Carey and what previous head coaches have done here at Northern Illinois is to create an identity for this offense, and they know exactly where they want to go with the football. The handoff starts the offensive drive for Northern Illinois the sideline to run. It's a big play. I'm going to hand off to Tommy Lee Lewis. Not just a threat through the air, but also on the ground. Well, this is what uh, Ron English talked about earlier. They'll spread you out, spread you out, and then run the football. In other words, they do not put you in a position to have an immediate impact upon a running play. Tommy Lee Lewis, again, Lynch up the middle, bounces to the outside off the block. Knocked out of bounds at the 11 yard line. Two big plays and the run finally comes to an end as Willie Creer brings him down. All right, I just thought of a word I haven't used. Mechanics. His mechanics are excellent. And what I mean by mechanics, he, he fakes well. He, he carries out his fakes. He's, he, linebackers have to stop because they don't know what he's gonna do with the football. And unless you have great mechanics, that doesn't happen. In other words, he's well coached. First and goal, leads to the play action, throws end zone, and it's caught. Touchdown in Northern Illinois. 10-yard touchdown pass, Jordan Lynch to Joel Buonio. Joel Buonio makes the catch, and it's 13-0 Huskies. Hold Matthew Sims to attempt the point after try. Lynch now six of seven through the air, two touchdowns. And Sims will try for the extra point to make it 14-0. Oh the kick from Sims is good. Your score. 14-0 Northern Illinois. Last week, Jordan Lynch did it through the air. Right now, six for seven, two scores. He does it with his right arm to put the Huskies on top. 
Husky fans, Batty's Pub and Grill in DeKalb is your official pre- and post-game NIU football. And the general manager of Northern Illinois IMG. Two Sports passing Park, touchdowns Indiana. for Jordan Lynch, and it's 14-0 at Northern game. Illinois. 7-37 to, to play first quarter. And we'll join Indiana. Kelly Kroll down on the sideline. Today's sideline reports presented by Frontier Communications, the official telecommunications company of NIU Athletics. And Kelly, quite a start for Jordan Lynch. No question, Mike. And one of the things we heard Bob talking about, McCain. That's also something offensive coordinator Bob Cole talked about with Jordan saying, you know, the footwork specifically a lot better. He worked on that in the offseason. It's translated to his technique. But more importantly, where he feels like he has made the biggest improvement from a year ago is the mental side of the game. He goes, it's really slowed down for him this season. He's able to read what defenses are giving him quickly, and he's making good decisions on when to pass, when to run, and we've seen that already from him, certainly. Jordan Jordan Lynch, the mental side, a big difference for him this season, guys. Kelly, thanks. Bob, from your expertise, how much do you say that has been an impact for Lynch this season? I don't think there's any question. It's been a critical impact. And it, again, as Kelly mentioned, and coaches said, Coach, uh, you know, mechanics are so critically important. You know, it's it's not it, every little step, everything, the first step, setting up how high should the football be? When do I run the football from a read standpoint? Where's the free safety? Where are the linebackers? On and on. It's this education of a quarterback is cumulative and consecutive. And Bob Cole's doing a great job with the improvement of this young man. Rod Carey and Jordan Lynch watching with a 14-0 lead. Well, one of the things right now, it, this cannot be a three and out for the Eastern Michigan Eagles. They have to establish some type of a running game. There may be a few quick passes, you know, short stops, uh, crossing patterns, nothing deep. Just like that. Rollback passing to Jay Jones on first and ten. And a short pickup. It's a big difference for this Eastern Michigan offense. Seven games, they're one and six. Now all of a sudden a new quarterback, and that's going to be some adjustments there too, you'd imagine. Well, he's off to a good start as far as throwing the football at, 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 right there. It was a soft corner. He drove the wide receiver, drove the corner off the ball, came back for the football. I think take a little bit here, take a little bit there. Let's not go downtown too quick and then try to run the ball with Bronson Hill. Second and four, rollback throws again to Hill on a screen. He's got the first down out across the 40. And taken down from behind by Santa Catarina. The most difficult pass part of your passing game to choreograph are screen plays. Orlando McCord, right tackle, 6'3", 310 pound senior. He came out there and just tattooed the corner. And that's a big guy blocking in space. Detroit Martin Luther King High School, yet another school with great football tradition in the greater Detroit area. First and 10 on their own 41. Eastern Michigan trailing 14-0 here in the first quarter. Go back another short route. That's Dustin Creel with the catch. Good safe pass. One of the things you're going to have to see from this young man is when he gets under duress. He's not played an awful lot. What he does with the football. And again, he has to take care of the football. No unforced errors. Rod English stressed that this week, said turnovers have been one of the biggest factors for this team. And because they're one in six, he feels like they don't give as much of an emphasis to them as they should. Whether they were winning, it might be different, he says. Rollback under pressure, heaves it up. And it's out of bounds. Rivals rated Roback as the number 17 pro-style quarterback in the country. And this has been an evolving position over the last year. Tyler Benz, who was the starter for the first seven games of this season, only became the starter week four of last year when Alex Gillett moved to wide receiver. Well, he was definitely a big take from a recruiting standpoint. Last play we saw there real quick, Santa Catarina. Good job of contain. Back to throw on third down. And it's out of bounds over the head of Dustin Creel. So not a three and out for Eastern Michigan. They do get a little bit of movement, but they'll have to punt again. Hey, anytime that they're on the field and Lynch and his buddies are on the sideline is a good deal for them. And that's what they have to continue to do. And here again, we talked about 
play, make Northern Illinois play with a long field. I've said this before, and, you know, and, and I'll say it again. Jordan Lynch is on the field. The whole field is the red zone. This is Angelo Sebastiano calling out his blocks across the 35. And he's finally tripped up at about the 50-yard line. He was questionable coming into this week. There is no doubt that was a good return. There's no doubt about it. Very disciplined work by the Northern Illinois return team. A hat on a hat. And Sebastiano early on shows good patience. Instead of just taking the football right up the field, he sits and waits, lets, lets the, the blockers engage the defenders, and then make cuts off the blocks. Great return by that young man. First and 10 for the Huskies, ball at midfield. Sebastiano had missed the last four weeks with an injured back. He was knocked out of the game against Eastern Illinois on a call that was targeting against Eastern Illinois cornerback Pete Houlihan. This targeting rule is really, I like the rule, but I think it's going to take time for the interpretation of the rule. And by, what I mean by that is when an official sees it, is it actually targeting or is it not? Is the player, is the ball carrier defenseless or the defender defenseless? Lynch running on second and four. Got about three and a half with a run over right guard. This pace that the Northern Illinois offense is showing right now is, is just unbelievable. Especially with the substitutions from the sidelines. Three guys in, three guys out, four guys in, four guys out. And the Eastern Michigan defensive coaches have to try to match up these quick changes. Lewis the catch to the outside. First down, up ahead to the 30, a pickup of 11 on the pitch and catch from Lynch to Lewis. Look at the perfect execution of this play. The wide receivers are engaged in their blocks. Great run. Just finds that, again, that seam, that daylight, and takes it with a burst. Lewis in motion. Lynch keeps it. 25-20 down the sideline. Lynch is in. 30-yard touchdown run for Jordan Lynch, and it's 20-0 Huskies. I will tell you, this Tommy Lee Lewis is one special character. I mean, takes footballs off in this week, catches football short routes, catches deep routes, and in a little bit here, we're gonna see a block that he threw to Spring Lynch down the sideline. Unselfish football player. Lynch now eight carries, 69 yards, and a touchdown. And Northern Illinois' lead stretches to 21, nothing. Watch this block, Tommy Lee Lewis. He's 5'7", 155 pounds. Wow. I mean, he gets rejected, but just enough to get Jordan Lynch downfield. And that's what I'm talking about, a complete wide receiver. Again, 5'7", 155, sacrifices his body to get his quarterback downfield, catches the football out of the backfield, runs sweeps, runs reverses. I mean, the young guy does it all. Bob, one of the things that we heard from Northern Illinois this week was that coming off of the 316 rushing yards that Lynch put on Central Michigan last week was that the entire team was happy. The offensive line, the wide receivers, they're all happy because the team overall is successful when Lynch is successful. Well, it shows great leadership. Hey, you know, and there he is right now. Going upstairs, you know, going over the play. He never stops learning. And there he is, big hug for Lewis. You know when that'll be fun? Tomorrow in the film session. Those <laughs> offensive linemen are going to be, they are going to be jumping up and down and saying, move him to guard, move him to guard. Tyler Allen tracks down the kickoff, nowhere to go. And he steps out at the 21-yard line, which is where Eastern Michigan will take over. You know, in a very difficult situation for Eastern Michigan, Difficult to say the least. I was talking to a couple of the assistant coaches and they talked about Ron English. 
and they said the way he handled this most horrific incident he handled it like a father and he's more he's just as much a father to these young guys as he is a football coach and knowing Ryan English that doesn't surprise me and in tribute to Demarius Reed who was found dead in his apartment last week a wide receiver on this team Eastern Michigan wearing his number on a decal on the back of their helmets and playing in his honor you know, Coach English mentioned that Demarius, as a freshman his first year, you know, was kind of trying to feel his way around the college campus and, and college football and wanted to play more and with the academics and all that. And he said his second year, that Thursday, he spoke to him and said, you know, you've become a leader. You've become a great person off the field. I couldn't be more proud of you. Both teams wearing that number two. Bronson Hill with a carry for a first down on second and ten. Now Hill has had big weeks the last two weeks. Last week, 257 yards and a touchdown and a loss against Ohio. In total the last two weeks, 400 yards for the junior from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Well, he's an excellent back, but on that particular play, leading that play was Orlando McCord, number 79, the right guard, number 77, the right tackle, Lincoln Hansen. Both 300 pounders getting out there in space and throwing great blocks. Back to back first down runs. Hill continues to impose his will. Good job by the quarterback there. And a great call by Stan Parrish, the offensive coordinator. Stan is an excellent football coach, unbelievable amount of experience. He's coached in, at, at every level of football and has had success at every level of football. Great offensive coordinator. Former head coach at Ball State, assistant at Michigan, won a Super Bowl ring in 2003 with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. On the draw, they call Hill's number again to the outside, a pickup of about seven. Now, as we mentioned, there was turnover last year at the quarterback spot where Tyler Benz took over in week four. It wasn't really until week five of last year against Toledo that Bronson Hill got the feature spot in the backfield. Every flower does not blossom on the first day of spring. You know who told me that? Bo Schembechler. He said, just keep coaching him, keep coaching him, keep coaching him. One day you're going to look and go, wow, this guy's a football player. Never give up on a player. Never. Not at the college level anyway. The pros trade them. Second and three, roll back to throw. Over the middle, his favorite target, Tyrese Russell, running open space, and he's down inside the 10, taken down, down by Deshaun Durant. Russell, the leading receiver on this team, gets them in the red zone. Well executed play. Good pitch, good catch, good yards after catch, the whole deal. Good job by that offensive line again. I really like this offensive line. And number 88, the tight end. Russell just really kind of sold the play as though he were blocking, kind of hid there for a second, and then came out just right between the two linebackers. Good technique on his part. A lot of guys just want to snap the ball, get downfield. That's not what that play needed, and that's not what he did. To Hill up the middle and not a lot of room. Boomer May is in on the tackle, the middle linebacker. But now this is where Eastern Michigan has got to convert. Last week, a 56-28 loss against Ohio. Turnovers in the red zone, Ron English said, were a critical component of that game shifting in the Bobcats' favor. Everybody is converging on Bronson Hill. I would not be surprised if you wouldn't see the quarterback. Take the snap, fake the hill, detach, and get out into the flat. Brogan Roback. The freshman under pressure throws to the end zone, and it's incomplete, intended for Justin Creel. Had a chance there. The ball needed to be thrown a little bit higher. Justin Creel, the intended receiver. Here we go. Feet set, decent protection. 
had to bring that ball up a little bit higher and lead and lead the wide receiver away from the defender. That comes with experience. One of the things with the quarterback Brogan Roback coming in right now, those upperclassmen in that in that huddle, they have to take charge. Third and goal from the five, and a late timeout taken by the Northern Illinois defense. Two time minute 49 to play. This timeout will be 30 seconds. 30 seconds in length. Minute 49 of the first quarter, Northern Illinois 21, Eastern Michigan nothing. It's been all about Jordan Lynch so far, but the last two weeks, Lynch and Hill, respectively, have been their team stars. Well, these are unbelievable statistics. 43, 400 yards, 47 attempts, 399 yards. But here, average, 9.3 yards, 8.5 yards. That's where my eye goes, right there. Two highest totals in the FBS the last two weeks rushing wise for those two players so third and goal from the five here for eastern michigan stan parish the offensive coordinator will send the play down from the press box what do you think they're going to go with your freshman quarterback their biggest strength is at running back well what i would do here is to try and we haven't seen this from roback yet i would like to see them get him out on the flat and give him a run pass option in other words Maybe even take a fake pump and run in. Or take a fake pump, the defender comes up, throw the ball over his head. I don't see running the football from the five-yard line, regardless of Bronson Hill's abilities here. A little bit of a chess game going on here, Mike. Michigan, Michigan their first team timeout this half. Two remaining. This timeout is 30 seconds. 30 seconds. You know, I mentioned seniors in the huddle. I don't care what football team it is. I don't care what level it's at. Senior leadership is critical to the success of any football program. How do you get senior leadership? By continuity. You know, and we mentioned the Northern Illinois offensive line. Every football team is, a, they have teams within the team. And no team take, within the team takes greater pride than the offensive linemen. And when you handle, when you take an offensive lineman and have to put him in there as a freshman or a transfer guy or uh, whatever it might be, a, a junior college guy coming in, you lose that continuity. Northern Illinois has not lost that continuity. Albeit Jerry Kill came from a different place as opposed to Rod Carey and Coach Dorn. But at the same time, they had continuity. A lot of experience on the defense for Northern Illinois. They'll need a stop here. Third and goal from the five. goes to Hill, and the Eagles leave it short. Why well, I don't like that call, and again, Stan Parrish has, has been in a whole bunch bigger games than I have. I don't like this call because it's a one deal. It, it's either he, it, I, for lack of a better way to say it, he's either going to run the ball in or he's not. You get somebody out on the flat or you run a little bit of an option play, you've got a couple different opportunities to get the football into the end zone. I don't think running against the front of the Northern Illinois defensive line is, in my opinion anyway, what you want to do from the five-yard line. The sophomore Dylan Mulder kicking. That looks like a false start. And again, I defer to Stan Parrish and his experience, but before that's my opinion. Before the snap, false start offense, number 71. Five-yard penalty. I mean, that, that I would expect more out of this young man. Penalty on Darian Terrell, the offensive lineman. Backs up the Eastern Michigan field goal try from 25 yards out now. Molder the sophomore, only two of six on field goal tries this year. But this one gets Eastern Michigan on the board, and it's 21-3 in favor of the home standing Huskies. So far, all Northern Illinois trying for their 21st straight win in the match. Dude, I need some Mighty Wings. They make me want to dance. <laughs> They're spicy? 
She was like, I can't feel the burn with his tears. <clears throat> I hate puppets. I need a mustache so bad. <laughs> Go get them all and watch me chew in. You want some more of their wings, yeah? Yeah, because he smashed them in the door. Man, that guy you did, did it. it. Players can't stop talking about McDonald's new Mighty Wings. Mm. He's going to take my Mighty no, Wings. No, he won't. Uh, 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 There's uh, something for uh. everyone to love at McDonald's. I mean, this is party chicken. Need a reason to drive a Ford with EcoBoost technology? I got 10. I feel like I'm driving a race car. The more horsepower and more gas mileage. It's just a great combination. Another great thing? Ford mileage beats Toyota in every segment we compete. Moving on. Handling. Fleek and cool. Technology. Assisted parking. Feels safe. <laughs> and finally, drum roll please. Getting that kind of gas mileage is awesome. Bingo. Get a focus with 0% financing for 60 months or at least for just $179 a month plus no charge sync and sound. The first half of NIU football on Comcast Sportsnet is presented by Frontier Communications, the official telecommunications company of NIU Athletics. Good showing out here at Husky Stadium today in DeKalb, Illinois, and a 21-3 first quarter advantage with 61 seconds left in the first. Northern Brandon Illinois, 7-0, 3-0 in the MAC, but only playing at home for the third time this season. Their five road wins, the most by an FBS team. The win knocks the ball off the tee as the Eagles get set to kick. Things looking very good for the Huskies right now. Already bowl eligible. Number 23 in the AP poll for the third straight week. And number 18 in the BCS rankings. Mike, le uh, yes, uh, last evening I had a chance to watch Brigham Young and Boise State. And through the course of that the game, they mentioned Northern Illinois University. They mentioned Jordan Lynch. And this is on national television. And you cannot buy that type of publicity for this university. And what this football team brings to this university and this community at large, I don't think it can be quantified. Uh, Northern Illinois putting itself on the national stage Last year, making it into a BCS bowl game as a MAC team. They didn't win, but did gain a lot of exposure that way. They also became the first MAC team this season to beat two Big Ten teams. Second, one remaining timeout this half. This timeout is 30 seconds in length, 30 seconds. Now Jordan Lynch has passed for two touchdowns today, already has run for another from 30 yards out. One of the best dual threat quarterbacks in the country. That's pretty good company, coach. I would say so. It, it, the success in college football right now, and it's starting to transfer a bit into the National Football League. You have, if you're going to be a big time program, you have to have a quarterback that is a dual threat quarterback to challenge these defenses. Defenses, you know, a day and age, they get some big guys up front, they plug the line of scrimmage. Those days are over. These are big guys to training and things they can run. And if you want to beat them, you had better spread the field and have a quarterback that can either throw the football or run the football. So out of the timeout, first and 10 for Northern Illinois. Ball in the 25 after the kick. Lynch fakes it and keeps the handoff himself. Right out to about the 31. Prior to today, the first quarter had been the trouble spot for Northern Illinois. Outscored 83-64 in the first quarter. Todd Carey mentioned this week that he's still looking for that best game. Still looking for where all three phases come together, where it's the offense, the defense, the special teams. He said, you can't ask me that question. What's been our best performance in October? I'll get back to you in January. Well, you know, Mike, I mentioned this early on. One of the goals was to get off to a fast start because they haven't, as you mentioned. They are off to a fast start today. And, and this is something you build on. You achieve what you emphasize. I want it, we, we need to get off to a fast start. We need to get off to a fast start. And not only today, but to carry it into all the remaining games and to show, to have the confidence to say, you know, we have that ability. Let's do it. Lewis to carry, knocked out of bounds by Michael Swain, getting the start at free safety over Kevin Johnson today. Six on the carry, second down and four for the 46.
And a rare drop with Lynch going to the outside. A little coaching point for any young football players out there. That ball's thrown in the flat. You don't catch the football, the football's dropped. Jump on it just the way he did right there because it could very well be a lateral if the quarterback is in front of the position when he throws it to the wide receiver. Never assume it's an incomplete pass. Lynch under pressure. And he takes that for a loss. First met by Alex Jones in the backfield. End of the first quarter here at DeKalb, Illinois. Husky Stadium, the Huskies on a roll. 21-3 is their lead in front of Eastern Michigan. Northern Illinois trying to stay undefeated at 7-0. Is there something lurking on your bank statement? Hiding just out of sight? If you look, you might find them. ATM and monthly service fees, minimum balance and direct deposit requirements, all hiding in what some banks call free checking. You won't find that with our castle checking. Free, not fee. No catch, no hoops, no hidden fees. Don't be left in the dark. Compare their checking to ours at ourchecking.com. Helpful smile in the produce aisle. We've got the freshest produce. We've got the largest selection. I know we have the freshest produce in town. We partner with the best growers in America. Bikes to melt apples, Driscoll berries, and ripe and ready fruit. Our local grown and homegrown produce is fresh from the farm. Ivy has more natural and organic than almost anyone. We're best at fresh. I can even tell you what this is and how to fix it. I am a helpful, organic, homegrown, best produce smile. And that's my promise. Getting ready for the start of play in the second quarter. And the Northern Illinois Huskies up 18 over Eastern Michigan. NIU Athletics in Northern Illinois. IMG Sports Marketing would like to salute the NIU Huskies championship partners for their continued support and partnership with NIU Athletics. A special, special thank you to Kish Health System, Castle Bank, and the Midwest Orthopedic Institute. So far, so good for Jordan Lynch and the Huskies coming off a record-setting performance last week. He carried the ball for 316 yards, an FBS single-game rushing record for a quarterback. A 38-17 win over Central Michigan. And a fair catch called on the punt by Jay Jones. So now Eastern Michigan takes over, down 21-3. Freshman quarterback, Brogan Roback. And Bob, what's your evaluation so far in the first career start for this highly touted quarterback? Well, he hasn't had a, an abundance of snaps, but the snaps that he's had, I, I think, he's take, as I mentioned, you need to take care of the football, which he did. He hasn't been asked to do a lot. I'd like to see his athleticism. I'd like to see a, you know, perhaps some type of an option play with Bronson Hill, see if we can't get Roback out on the flat. Maybe a few rollout passes uh, out on the perimeter, run the football, run pass option. A little more variety, but you know, with a freshman quarterback, Stan Parrish uh, probably doesn't want to take a lot of chances. Bronson Hill gets the reception out of the backfield. And well he takes it up across play. the 20. Well executed play right there. I mean, that little flip pass on an option, uh, excuse me, on a screen play, you know, some guys struggle with that. They really do. You know, it shows a little touch right there. Just, just another little little skill that uh, becomes evident. Good job by Bronson Hill, too, hiding there for a second before he took off, uh, before he caught the football. They spread it out four wide here. 
on first and ten from the 23. Just a four-man rush for Northern Illinois. And over the middle, Dustin Creel looking for it on the Husky logo, and it falls long. I don't have any problem with that throw. I mean, right? I mean, he had a linebacker quarterback had a linebacker in front of him. Behind the wide receiver was the free safety. He put the foot. I mean, the football was an errant throw, but it was a throw that he will make. And because of the, uh, uh, well, because of experience after a while, and he took a pretty good hit after that too. Let's see how he rebounds. How much today have we seen rollback under center? Sticks it in Hill's gut to the outside, trying to break it across the 25. I think the, the Eastern Michigan Eagles right now, they're going to have to come up with some other type of an offensive weapon, so to speak. They're not going to be able to ride Bronson Hill through the end of this game. Whether it be a, another back in the backfield, whether it be reverse, some type of gimmick plays, whatever, every now and then, he's got to take a little break. Now, now it's a third and seven. Under pressure, into traffic, and nearly intercepted. Deshaun Durant had his hands on it and dropped it at midfield. Well, that was great coverage by Santa Cana Arena. Here's an outside linebacker getting deep in coverage. Now, you ask me about Roback right there, I don't like taking a chance of throwing that football there. That's a freshman mistake. He threw behind Quincy Jones. Deshaun Durant nearly had the interception. And the flag flies on this punt with Sebastiano back to return and wrangled at the 30. His return by Sebastiano. Flag sitting down back at about the 27 yard line. Illegal formation. Five players in the backfield. Kicking team. Five yard penalty. Replay fourth down. So Eastern Michigan will kick again here. That's something that Ron English there, just those small penalties, their third penalty of the game, that's going to bother him. <laughs> the ball moves back to the 21-yard line. Once again, Sebastiano back deep to return, playing in his first game today since September 19th, out with an injury. Fair catch, and he takes it at the 42-yard line. And that's where Northern Illinois will take over. Heisman candidate Jordan Lynch and the Huskies on offense when we return. My last appearance as the Farmer Fleet guy. I sure have enjoyed it. This is my swan song, as they say in the biz. I got me a new gig. I'm going to miss y'all. We'll miss you, Steve. One last time. Take it away, Mr. Announcer. You bet, Steve. Save 20% on Alley Sandpaper products. A DeWalt drill or impact driver kit, $99. Or pick up this Milwaukee job site radio, only $99. Can you guess Steve's new gig? Visit us on Facebook. Northern Illinois University. Grit. Determination. Tenacity. We are Huskies. Champions. In the classroom, in competition, in life. We are Northern Illinois University. Learning today, leading tomorrow. I didn't come for the massage, I came for the facial! All season long, Bulls basketball lives on one network. Comcast Sportsnet. Catch your favorite team from every angle. Unbelievable highlights. Oh, 
block. Behind the scenes access. And every moment from tip off to post game. All season long, Bulls basketball lives on one network. Comcast Sportsnet, fans' best friend. August 31st on the road for the Huskies to start the season in Iowa City. No easy task going up against the Hawkeyes, but the first win for Rod Carey as head coach for the Huskies was a big one. Four seconds left. Matthew Sims with a game-winning field goal to seal it. A three-point victory for the Huskies on the road. Since that game, they've also gone on to beat Purdue September 28th. So two wins against Big Ten opponents. Now, it's not the greatest year for Purdue this season. Nevertheless, doesn't take away from what Northern Illinois has achieved. No, and other Big Ten teams have struggled a bit with Purdue, and it was a prolific victory. Lynch throwing deep on first down. Over the middle of the field and nearly complete to Tommy Lee Lewis in double coverage, and Lewis had his hands on it. Excellent job by the corner there, Jerron Gillespie. Jerron Gillespie, along with three, Donald Making contact at the right time, never looked back, which is difficult, obviously. Saw the receiver, was stretching out for the football, went up and made a great play. Young man from Washington, D.C., Friendship Collegiate High School. His head coach, Azar Rahim, played for Ron English at San Diego State. Now Lewis, a chance to make up for the drop. Takes this across midfield and down inside the 40-yard line. Pickup of 18 for Northern Illinois. This tempo, this pace, combined with the execution they have is, I mean, if you love football, you have to love this football team. Now Lynch takes it right up the middle and a pickup of four on first down. So far, Northern Illinois has been able to vary its offense, whether it's a handoff to a running back or a handoff to a wide receiver or their most potent threat, Jordan Lynch, taking it off guard or in that case, right up the middle. Let me give it a little credit here to Andrew Ness, number 55, the center for Northern Illinois. Big guy who's an excellent offensive lineman out of O'Fallon, Missouri. High school captain, Christian Brothers College High School. I always like to mention the center because the only person that knows who he is is his family and the guys on his team. Andrew Ness, you're doing a great job. Coach Kamel said he would love to have coached you. 22nd straight start at center for Ness. Personal foul during the run. Horse collar tackle. 15 yards are added to the end of the run. Automatic first down. Carry by Jacob Brindley, and he gets wrangled from behind by Ike Spearman, the sophomore linebacker. I like that rule also. I don't think Ike Spearman had any, any uh, malicious intent here. He just reached out and grabbed what he could. Unfortunately, it was a collar, not a shoulder pad. Four penalties for 27 yards now. Lewis to throw, looking for Lynch. They hook up, and Lynch dives toward the end zone. Touchdown, Huskies! Tommy Lee Lewis is doing it all today. Bob, I don't think anybody expected that play coming into today's game, huh? I've seen them three times. I haven't seen anything like that. Great job by Tommy Lee Lewis selling the run, pulling up, setting his feet. Now, I'm going to put this on you. You describe Jordan Lynch. Well, the words diminish as weeks go on because they've all been used to describe Lynch. He can run, he can throw. Now we know he can catch too. Superman over the goal line for the score. The more you know, the more you'll choose Kish Health System. 
At Kish Health System, we never forget that the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. But we're more than just innovation and technology. Kish Health System is powered by an incredible team that is working hard to put healthcare back in your hands. That's empowered healthcare. Kish Health System. Be health empowered. Now playing on DirecTV Cinema. Crash landed. Two confirmed survivors. This is a class one quarantined planet. Everything has evolved to kill humans. Do you know where we are? No, sir. This is Earth. After Earth. Movie start at channel 125. Hi, I'm Dave Roche here at Roche Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram, Midwest Ram ProMaster headquarters. Come in today and experience this new Ram ProMaster van. One look and the advantages become instantly clear. The Ram ProMaster is the most versatile commercial van and will fit all your business needs. We have more ProMasters in stock than any other dealer in the Midwest with huge shipments arriving daily. As for me, Dave Roche, the ProMaster Pro, nobody knows more. I'm Grand Avenue in Elmhurst, Bensonville. All of us at Comcast Sportsnet would like to take a moment to express our deepest condolences and sympathies to the Eastern Michigan community on the passing of Demarius Reed. We were all saddened to hear of his death and hope that his family, friends, and teammates can take comfort in each other's presence and support during these difficult times. Thanks for being with us today from DeKalb, Illinois, Northern Illinois, and Eastern Michigan from Husky Stadium. With Kelly Kroll on the sidelines, Bob Kamel, Mike Cousins. It is a beautiful autumn day, and Eastern Michigan set to receive here after the score. Tommy Lee Lewis, the wide receiver, throwing to Jordan Lynch, the quarterback. And Eastern Michigan will start this drive on its own 25-yard line after the boot from Tyler Weedle. Now, Tommy Lee Lewis has had an impressive day. Big runs on handoffs from Lynch, now throwing for a touchdown. Those two have really been the big combination that have driven most of the offense so far. Well, I, one of the, as you mentioned, driven the offense. I don't think there's any question. You know, I've mentioned before, and I've said this in coaching, you achieve what you emphasize. And when you emphasize certain aspects of your game, you expect those aspects of the game to take merit on, on game day. Benz is back in at quarterback. And this sideline handoff to Ryan Brumfield. His 34th carry of the season sends him just over 200 yards. So a basically one quarter experiment with the true freshman Brogan Roback. And here's the redshirt junior from Park Ridge, Illinois, into the game, Tyler Benz. I don't think Tyler Benz, as I understand, he's a very level headed young man. He understands what Coach English was trying to do. And they probably discussed it before. I'm sure they discussed it before the game. That communication is critical, especially with a quarterback. Ben's passing complete to Dustin Creel. Well, Bob, you mentioned what you thought they were trying to do. What exactly do you think that was? Well, I, I, what I think it is is try to see if he can't give the team a jump start. If there wasn't something there in his makeup that Ben's doesn't have to move the football team. And... You know, obviously, it, it didn't, I don't want to say it didn't work, but it was a very average performance at best. But let's not take anything away from the freshman. You know, you got to, you, you put any quarterback in. He has to be surrounded by a good supporting cast, well-called plays, on and on. There's a lot that goes into it. Fans on the season completing 63% of his passes. Hands off to Bronson Hill. And a flag at the end of the play. Tackle made by 33, Jamal Payton. Eight of seven on the carry. There is a flag on the play. Holding, Holding. offense, Holding. number 77. Ten-yard penalty, replay third down. 
countries on Lincoln Hanson. Big young guy, 6'6", 301 pounds. He should get credited with a tackle there. Senior, we, we, you, know, you don't want to see that out of a senior. Omaha, Nebraska, Millard, Millard North High School. Played a, played a pretty good football game so far. Making his eighth straight start on the offensive line every game this season for Hanson. Bends with plenty of time. In and out of the hands of Tyrese Russell. The tight end leads the team in catches and yards. But can't get it there on a big third down. A little bit of a lack of concentration. I think he started to feel that he was a bit under duress. This is a this is a this is a catch he should make. This is a good call right here. This is a good call. And I'm certain that Coach Carey's gonna have a few things to say about this. Flag on the play, and the call was roughing the passer. So the penalty will move the ball up for Eastern Michigan on what was going to be a fourth down and 12, will now be a first down and 10, with the ball spotted at the 38, giving the and Eagles more Eastern life here on this drive. Eastern Michigan has first and that was on Perez Ford. read it right from the start and a big loss on first down that is a big time play initially showing great discipline not going with the sweep to the other side playing his position Joe Windsor week in and week out this guy comes to play he's quick he, he, he's very analytical and at six feet 236 pounds High school captain, led, led the team in sacks last year. One of five seniors on this Husky defense. After a loss of 16, they carry to Hill for a very short game. Sets up a third down and about a 5K to go to pick up the first. I don't fault Eastern Michigan for that call. They need to get something going here. And if they have to get Northern Illinois thinking in terms of you know, of, of chicanery, so to speak, of, of reverses and screens and things like that to slow down that that offensive defensive line of Northern Illinois. You know, real quick, getting back to Jordan Lynch and that play where he scored. But one of the things beside the obvious on that, there's a bunch of defensive coordinators right now saying to themselves, uh-oh, we have to practice against this. If anything, for four on third downs today for the Eagles. Make it 0 for five. Nowhere to go for Tyler Benz. If anything, it gives them something to think about, even if Northern Illinois wouldn't come back with that. I didn't want to get away from uh, Eastern uh, Michigan's offense, but that thought came to my mind. One, one of the qualities of North, the defense of Northern Illinois, they are a swarm. They're all over the football. They got a bunch of guys running to the ball in every play. Austin Barnes is on to punt. Angelo Sebastiano to return. And he calls for a fair catch. And takes it right at the 40-yard line. You know, on a windy day like today, never take for granted fielding a punt as clean as he did right there. I I've seen wide, great wide receivers that cannot field punts. It's a special talent, especially on a day like today, because this wind is, I mean, it's blowing in every direction. No, right now it's howling toward the south end zone. So right there, the punt from Barnes, who's on the Ray Guy Award watch list, one of four true freshmen, the nation's top award for punters, had to kick into the wind. John first and ten keeps it, bounces it to the outside. It's a nice block. That picks up about nine and a half after Duran Brown helped him gain a few more. Good job by the left side of that Northern Illinois offensive line, and uh, no one knows better about the ability of that offensive line than Jordan Lynch. Lynch all day looking for Brown one on one. And it's too long. Plenty of time provided there from his offensive line. 
One of the keys, Jer Jared Volk, and Kelly has more on the senior. Yeah, you talk about Jared Volk, and first of all, this is a guy that Coach Rod Carey said is best friends with Jordan Lynch. Keep that in mind, okay? This is the guy that's going to carry out the orders, if you will. He goes, it's really a whole group, that offensive line, who produces as a unit, but Jared is the glue guy. He's the one that holds others accountable. He says he comes to work. It's the guy that they turn to, and certainly we've seen today just what he offers to Jordan Lynch and, and uh, that offense, guys. Lynch loses a couple yards on the play. Thanks, Kelly. And today's sideline reports presented by Frontier Communications, the official telecommunications company of NIU Athletics. So after a loss of five, that was exactly what Eastern Michigan wanted. They get Lynch in the offense off the field. Jane Jones back to receive the punt for the Eagles. Kicking for the Huskies is Tyler Weedle. Tyler Weedle is punting, and Jay Jones set to return for the Eagles. This is into the win. And Jones fair catches at the 17. Jones makes the fair catch. 28-3, Northern Illinois powering their way against Eastern Michigan. But Eastern takes over. Tyler Benz leads the charge. Is there something lurking on your bank statement? Hiding just out of sight? If you look, you might find them. ATM and monthly service fees, minimum balance and direct deposit requirements, all hiding in what some banks call free checking. You won't find that with our castle checking. Free, not fee. No catch, no hoops, no hidden fees. Don't be left in the dark. Compare their checking to ours at ourchecking.com. There's a first time for everything. We achieve goals. Grow your own way. Grow your own Celebrate. Way. You can grow your own way. Cherish and protect you can grow what really matters. Season after season. One network captures the most exhilarating moments in Chicago sports. Score! Comcast Sportsnet. We understand your passion, and we're as obsessed as you are. We know this is what you live for, and we live for it too. You are the greatest sports fans in the world, and this is Comcast Sportsnet. Fans' best friend. Northern Illinois in control in the first half of NIU football on Comcast Sportsnet is presented by Frontier Communications, the official telecommunications company of NIU Athletics. Eastern Michigan set to go on offense here. Their fifth-year head coach, Ron English, one of a very select group of head coaches and coordinators throughout college football. You see Dana Holgerson, June Jones, Mike Leach, Bronco Mendenhall, and coach, with Ron English taking over the defensive coordinator job this year, of course, he'd done it at many places before. Louisville, five years under Lloyd Carr at Michigan. That's a big responsibility for him, trying to rein in what has been a struggling program. Well, I think one of the things he understands is probably the best defensive mind on the entire football staff. Why coaches give uh, assignments away and coordinator deals away is because they have so much on their plate. I mean, in this day and age in college football, it's a lot more than just coaching. And Ron English wanted to take over the defense to get the defense going. Remember one thing, when Michigan won the national championship, Ron English was the defensive coordinator. Charles Ivory swooping in front of Dustin Creel, getting the deflection on the pass. You would prefer as a head coach not to have coordinator responsibility. Usually, if there is coordinator responsibility, it's on the offensive side of the ball rather than the defensive side of the ball. You go back to 2008, Michigan and Florida, the Capital One Bowl, and the Wolverines pulled out a win, helping stop Tim Tebow's prolific offense there. 
but he also brought in Stan Parrish, who basically this year as the offensive coordinator came out of semi-retirement to try and help give a jump start. And what Ron English has said is it brought a lot of experience to the offense. Well, he knew Stan Parrish from uh, from his days at Michigan. And Stan Parrish left Michigan and went on to the National Football League. But at the same time, those relationships, when you're comfortable with someone, you've seen them work firsthand on a daily basis, you have a very good feeling about the abilities of the individual. Third down and 12, Eastern Michigan now 0 for 6 on third downs today. That pass was intended for the running back, Bronson Hill. Bronson Hill. Paris Logan with the coverage for NIU. You know, and, and you talk about Stan Parrish. There's just guys that have that have that. It's coaching is, is such a part of their makeup. And they get out of coaching and they realize, you know what, I really miss this. I want to get back in it. And you get a phone call from a friend like Ron English. Why not? Into the wind, Sebastiano watches the ball bounce. And down at the 48. Or you can come up to the booth and hang out with guys like you. Which is a pretty good assignment also. They had to pay you to hang out with me. Not for the work, just to spend time with me. 28-3, Northern Illinois leading Eastern Michigan. Fresh off of a bowl appearance after last season. The Orange Bowl lost to Florida State. But they have been in the postseason in the last five years and already 7 0, bowl eligible once again, and trying to get into a BCS bowl game again this year. I, I think really that's what Northern Illinois is going to be looking for. That's what they think of as successful, right, after last year? Well, they've raised the bar so high. They are becoming a football tradition. They have a good football program. I don't think there's any question. The way they're going right now, they are becoming a football tradition. And I will tell you something. If, if I live in the greater, I don't care if greater Chicago area, you want to see good football and, and, and the price is right, so to speak, get out here. This is a really special event. It's a really special happening, and you're going to see quality football with a bunch of great young guys. You know I like to see? We've got this whole side here is full. The side that we're the, uh, the field that we're on. I'd like to see that exactly. other side full. I'd like to see the end zones full. Never take the success, and no one should. Whether you're an alum, a fan, uh, I don't care what. Don't take the successful the success of this football program for granted because it is special. Third home game of the year for the Huskies. The first two have been sellouts. Lynch with the carry on third down. He's tripped up at the 45. That won't get the job done. Bob, you mentioned with bowl games, it is the last season of the BCS. In the last 15 seasons, only 12 teams outside of the six automatic qualifying conferences have made a BCS bowl game. Notre Dame four times, Utah, TCU, and Boise State have done it twice. So if Northern Illinois does it again this year, they join that group, Utah, TCU, and Boise State, as teams that have been able to do that, they're in the national conversation. Well, in, in all candor, I really think they're going to win out. I really do. I think they're going to win out. I don't think you can uh, defensively. How do you prepare for for this offense? I mean, how do you really prepare for this offense? It's 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 unbelievable. And then you add the pace that they tried today, and then you know Rod Carey obviously has a plan in place. And the plan this week is this: high tempo execution, move the football off to a fast start, and you keep building on that. I use the term cumulative and consecutive. You, you reach back for your past, and you look to your future and add to the success that you've had. As far as the remaining schedule goes, they've got UMass coming up next week on the road, then Ball State, and against the Cardinals, that's probably going to be the biggest test of all. There's no doubt. The Ball State game will be the biggest test. Perhaps the biggest test they've had this year. And I'm counting Purdue and Iowa in that quotient. Ball State has a quarterback named Winning, and he is an outstanding football player. And right now, for Northern Illinois, 23 consecutive home wins and 20 straight wins in the MAC. Both of those, the home streak and the conference streak, are the longest in the country. Now about 4.15 to play until halftime. And Northern Illinois driving again. First and 10, ball in the 34 for Lynch and company. Lynch 
catch and keeper. And anytime he wants to try and sneak through that defensive line, the C's have parted for the registered senior from Chicago. Well, there'll be a play called, and Lynch will do have what he calls a PSL, a pre-snap look. And that pre-snap look, he'll go from his left to his right, if he's going to run the football, and determine where the blocking angles will be, and for lack of a better way to put it, where his exit will be from, from the uh, backfield into the defensive side of the football. Pre-snap look, very critical. I wonder what I mean by that. If, if you're a right tackle, you think the ball's going to run, run the ball off right tackle, and the defensive tackle has leverage on the left shoulder of, of uh, the offensive tackle, well, then the ball's going to clear to the outside. If it's the other way, it's going to clear to the inside. And that comes with experience where you start to get a feel for that pre-snap look, where, where my exit from the backfield is going to occur. After a while, it becomes so, uh, kind of a subconscious game. Third down and two for Lynch. Play clock trickling down to five. And he hands it off to Buano, who picks up the first down. It's a gain of three yards on the carry. It's another Huskies first down. The Huskies right now are on pace to surpass their season average by a pretty good mark, averaging 40 points a game. 28 as it stands now. And closing in on the red zone. Here with the ball in the 23. Lynch back to the inside, into the red zone. 23, ball down to the 16 for a gain of seven. When the NFL days for Lynch come along, and I believe that they will, you know, people are talking about, you know, is he tall enough? I've stood next to Jordan Lynch, and I'm not trying to compare him to Drew Brees, but I've stood alongside Drew Brees also. And they, I would say they are identical in height. Now, he would have to go to a program, excuse me, an offense that would make best use of his talents. However, that being said, if... Okay, if an NFL team decides that they're going to take him and not use him as a quarterback, timeout. this guy can play a lot of Eastern different Michigan. positions. Their third and final timeout this half. And he would probably be a phenomenal special teams player. Is he like a Tim Tebow where would you see him playing as a starting quarterback in the NFL or is he somewhere in between? Okay, I'm going to go out on a limb and say this. He has a better arm than Tim Tebow. I mean, he does. He has a quicker release. Tebow obviously is taller, big, strong, heavier. Uh, but I mean, you know, you, you, all these scouts—they sit and they have watches and and they time this and they they look at how many reps for that. Can he play football or can he play football? Because we're all said and done. That's the bottom line. And this young guy can play football. Well, 213 to play here in the first half and coming up at the break we'll be joined by dr doug baker the president of northern illinois to talk about what's going on here on campus and some of the great initiatives that the huskies have happening in the red zone northern illinois a perfect three for three today 80 percent on the year lynch throwing and he's got another touchdown Real simple, Jawan Breskison hauls it in, his second touchdown of the year. The 16-yard touchdown pass, Jordan Lynch to Jawan Breskison. Man-to-man -man coverage, good fake, great route. We know we'll hold, I mean, how do you stop that? Matthew Sims to attempt I'm serious, how do you there. stop that? Press coverage, maybe get up a little closer and jam the wide receiver a little bit. Well, Jordan Lynch now 11 for 15, 106 yards, three touchdowns through the air. He's good. Your score is 35 to three. So the Huskies average 40 points a game and route to seven and zero. Oh. Right now they lead by 32 with two minutes until halftime. This is corporate headquarters. As you can see, I have a unique business. How do I compete with the big boys? I've got this fancy business address, a marketing department, a distribution center, got a great team, great team, even a cafeteria. That's mine. 
from packing and shipping to printing and mailbox services. Come into the UPS store for everything a small business needs. I love logistics. Inventory is huge and prices are low. Get the Honda you want at the price you want right now at O'Hare Honda. In today's economy, people want everything quickly and at the right price, and that's exactly what you're going to get. Choose from a huge selection of Hondas, including the Civic, Accord, CRV, Pilot, and Odyssey, and get 0.9% or low lease payments. This is a great opportunity to save a lot of money and the perfect time to buy. O'Hare Honda and certified used cars, River Road and Oakton and Des Plaines. It's going to be a great experience buying a car from us. I promise you that. At Home or Work, Frontier Communications is your local provider for high-speed internet. And for more information, visit Frontier.com. 208 until the half. Northern Illinois 35 at Eastern Michigan 3. With Kelly Kroll on the sidelines, Bob Kamel, Mike Cousins, thanks for joining us here this Saturday in DeKalb, Illinois. Northern Illinois comes into this game a perfect 7-0, 3-0 in the MAC. Looking to stay that way. It's a tight race at the top of the division. Ball State already picked up a win earlier today. Eastern Michigan at one and six. Their only win in week number one. 0 and three in the back. Ball coming out to the 25 yard line after Tyler Allen takes a knee for the Eagles. Well, the Eastern Michigan offense started today with freshman quarterback Brogan Roback, who had only thrown 16 passes on the season coming into the game. Fifth-year head coach Ron English wanted to try and switch things up a little bit. Tyler Benz, the redshirt junior from Park Ridge, Illinois, 63% completion rate, nine touchdowns, eight interceptions, and the change came back to Benz about a few minutes into the second quarter. He gives it away on first and ten. Out of the backfield, they go to Javante Green. I think right now, uh, Ron English, I mean, play it safe right here. I mean, there's no no sense of taking a chance. Play it safe. Hopefully you can run the football for a first down. If not, punt the football. Take the team in at the half. Regroup. Do the best you can. Second and seven for Benz with Green behind him. And they put Gardner in motion. And they keep it on the ground here. Trying to run down the clock. A minute 18 to go in the half. This defensive line from Northern Illinois has been stout all day. Uh, I mean, beside Hill a couple of times getting the linebacker depth, they've stopped everything almost at the line of scrimmage. Well, when it does reach zeros on the clock and Eastern Michigan goes into the locker room, if you're Ron English, you're down 35 to three, you're one and six, what do you say? You have to be realistic. I mean, you're not gonna come out and take the team in the locker room and talk about coming out here and winning this football game. You're gonna ask everybody on this football team to give their best effort in the second half. There'll be no quit in this football team. But again, you have to be realistic. I, I don't think there's any question. I mean, these, these young guys, they know the deal right now. And, and to say that, you know, some type of a pep talk or, or whatever is going to come out and win you this football game, no, just don't give up. Just play hard on every single play. And some of you older guys, we need you to be leaders on the sideline and on the field. More so than ever. Third and four for Eastern Michigan. Again, it's Green trying to push the pile. That won't get him a first down. So they'll be able to punt away here with about 30 seconds left on the clock. The other thing you to talk to about is to avoid frustration, uh, which can occur in a situation like this. Keep your composure. Remember, you represent 
not only yourselves, but an entire university. This is what you know, scores like this and games like this is where guys Austin start to get Lawrence a bit chippy. Into you don't want to have that. For Eastern Michigan, 85, Sebastiano back to receive. Barnes to punt again into the wind. It's a short kick, but takes an Eastern Michigan roll down to the 31. Now with 20 seconds left on the clock. Thirty-four yard punt for Austin Barnes. Good sized crowd on hand here today. Just the third home game of the season for Northern Illinois. They've been largely a road team. On their way to a perfect 7 and 0 to start the season. But you know one thing, up 35 to 3, they're going to feel good heading into the locker room at halftime. Maybe not content with 35 to 3, Lynch to the outside for Lewis. And he takes it up ahead to the 48 to gain of 16. It's a 16-yard completion. It's a Huskies first down. Now, as Northern Illinois goes in to the locker room and their coaches huddle, how long do you keep Lynch in this football game? Lynch has all day throwing down the middle. Lewis makes the catch at the 10 yard line. Pick up a 42. They don't have any timeouts. They've got to get down there and spike it. I don't know if they give game balls out at Northern Law University, but I'd set one aside for Tommy Lee Lewis. I'd put it, in, put it in his locker right now. What a half he's having. 58 yards in two plays. Lewis to the sideline, Lewis over the middle. Great protection, a lot of time, great trajectory on the football. Tommy Lee Lewis, we talk about taking the ball at the highest point. He's between two defenders. It becomes a jump ball. His timing is perfect. And now here's Sims for the try from 28. And his kick is good. And this year, all field goals kicked by the Huskies are being renamed as food goals. During this game and every game the Huskies play this regular season, the Elburn Cooperative Company will make a donation of $50 to a local food pantry for every field goal kicked by the Huskies. Keep watching for all Elburn Co-op food goals kicked today. Well, Bob, 38-3 at the half. Your thoughts on the first half of play? Well, my thoughts are that this is about what I expected. Uh, one of the goals was to get a quick start. They did get a quick start. They wanted to talk about up-tempo. This is the best tempo that I've seen, the tempo that they've had today all year. But when they go into the half at the locker room, Coach Carey's going to talk about building and building and building and even coming out in the second half and continuing to build on what they've done already, albeit maybe with someone else on their center, or I should say in the shotgun other than Lynch, because I don't know how long they're going to keep them in the game. Kelly Kroll standing by now with Northern Illinois head coach Rod Carey. Thanks a lot. Well, Coach, you talked about getting off to a quick start, how key that would be today. You open things up three straight scores. What did you think about the pace there early on? Well, it was really good. That's what we had to have, and I thought they came out and executed really well, and on defense, we did too. I was just going to say, defense, EMU 0-7 on third down, so you guys really clamping down there. They've seemed to contain Bronson Hill. What do you like about the, what they're doing? Well, sorry, my nose is running first. <laughs> it's off. a little cold out I here, know. guys. Um, hey, uh, you know, it was good. I mean, I thought we stopped the run, and, and, and when you get a team like this who's going to try to play keep away from our offense, you got to shut that part of the run game down. I was real pleased with that. Absolutely. Go get a tissue. <laughs> guys, back to you. Kelly, thanks. It is a chill day but the Huskies stay red hot looking to improve to eight and oh that's coming your way at the half we'll have a look at stats and highlights and also a conversation with Dr. Doug Baker the president of Northern Illinois University 
You can MRI at MOI because one size doesn't fit everyone. MOI offers two different MRI options. Our full body MRI allows physicians and radiologists to see multiple high contrast images of both bone and muscle, while our smaller extremity MRI is for when only an arm or leg needs to be scanned. Parents often accompany their children during this relatively brief scan. Whichever MRI your doctor chooses, you'll have easy access and prompt results from the team at MOI. You can MRI at MOI. Husky fans, Batty's Pub and Grill in DeKalb is your official pre- and post-game NIU football headquarters. Whether you're catching a game on our big screens or having some of our famous grilled food out in our beer garden, Batty's is the place to be. Reserve your date for your holiday party at Batty's. And if you're looking for catering for your next event, Batty's also offers full service on and off-site catering. For more information, go to Batty'sPub.com or call 815-758-7737. Dude, I need some Mighty Wings. They make me want to dance. <laughs> They're spicy? <laughs> he was like, I can't feel the burn. With his tears? <clears throat> I hate puppets. I need a mustache so bad. <laughs> Go get them all and watch me chew in. He wants some more of their wings, yeah? Yeah, because he smashed them in the door. Man, that guy you did it. Players can't stop talking about McDonald's new Mighty Wings. Mm. He's going to take my Mighty no, Wings. No, he won't. Uh, 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 There's uh, something uh, for everyone to love at McDonald's. I mean, this is party chicken. Now playing on DirecTV Cinema. I'm closing shop. No, 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 no. Welcome to the Google Intern Competition. We have rules. Dating fellow interns. So we'll say no to love. We'll say no to love. We're going to take it to these kids in a way they can't imagine. We're not going to get these jobs, and our lives are ruined. Let's do it. We're going to get our heads right. We're yeah. taking it to the street. Just three inches up. Show you to your table. Any questions? The Internship. Movies start at Channel 125. Breaking news from Curry Ford. This price fighter is knocking down walls to save you money. Curry Ford is renovating their entire dealership, and I'm helping out. We're making it bigger to serve you better, and we're still taking down high prices. So bring us your best price. And we'll knock you down. So don't let a little construction keep you from a great deal. Curry Ford on Lincoln Highway in Frankfurt, the undisputed price fighter. Call 866-YES-FORD for a knockout deal. We're taking down high prices. Hey everyone, Chuck Arfine in our downtown Chicago studio. We'll get you back out to DeKalb in a few minutes, but first an update on the Bulls from last night. Nuggets and Bulls at the UC, down 12 at the half. Here come the Bulls storming out of the gate in the third quarter, perhaps inspired by a fiery halftime speech by Tom Thibodeau. The Bulls open up an 18-8 run with all five players on the floor scoring. Suddenly the Nuggets lead was cut to just two. Under five minutes to go in the third, the Bulls were 0 for 12 from three-point range until Lou Aldang buries the first three-pointer of the game for the Bulls. They took their first lead of the game. Late in the fourth, Bulls lead cut to just one. Derrick Rose drives, dishes to a wide open Carlos Boozer, who throws down a monster dunk. He finished with a game-high 24 points, 10 rebounds as the Bulls cap off a perfect preseason 94-89. It was important. Um, I'm happy that we played these many games, and it, it gave me time to really shake some of the rust off. And um, just playing with my teammates, getting used to playing with them, knowing where they're going to be on the floor, having just that communication with them, just talking to them here and there, I think it's going to help me become a better player. He had a great preseason. He looked great, uh, aggressive offensively, even better with his, with his passing. Defense was phenomenal. Leadership was on point. Um, I told these guys the other day, he looks great, even better than me. A new name has entered the Cubs' search for a new manager, Eric Wedge, former manager of the Seattle Mariners. Sources tell our Patrick Murray that Wedge has had in-depth conversations over the phone with Cubs officials. He'll make his pitch face-to-face -face next week in Chicago. Wedge has managed 10 seasons in the majors and in 2007 was named the American League Manager of the Year with the Indians. The Blackhawks called up forward Jeremy Morin from Rockford. He led the Ice Hogs with eight points in eight games. The Hawks also called up Brad Mills. Blackhawks don't have to make any other moves because they had two open spots on their roster. The state high school football playoffs are just around the corner. Join us tonight at 8 p.m. for our live IHSA playoff pairing show. Our Jen Latta will be unveiling all the matchups tonight at 8 p.m. only on Comcast Sportsnet. Thanks for joining us. Enjoy the rest of the game from the cab. We'll see you next time. 
The more you know, the more you'll choose Kish Health System. At Kish Health System, we never forget that the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. But we're more than just innovation and technology. Kish Health System is powered by an incredible team that is working hard to put healthcare back in your hands. That's empowered healthcare. Kish Health System. Be health empowered. NIU fans, when you enter the Village Commons Bookstore, you're entering Husky Country. VCB is the official site for NIU Athletics, featuring the NIU Husky logo on a wide range of hats, t-shirts, shorts, sweats, and NIU logo gifts and accessories. Whether you're a student, graduate, or fan of NIU Athletics, the Village Commons Bookstore is your official Husky headquarters. Visit us at the stadium on game day or at our store in DeKalb at 901 Lucinda or on the web at www.vcbs.com. My last appearance as the Farmer Fleet Guy. I sure have enjoyed it. This is my swan song, as they say in the biz. I got me a new gig. I'm gonna miss y'all. We'll miss you, Steve. One last time. Take it away, Mr. Announcer. You bet, Steve. Save 20% on Alley Sandpaper products. A DeWalt drill or impact driver kit, $99. Or pick up this Milwaukee job site radio, only 99 bucks. Can you guess Steve's new gig? Visit us on Facebook. You can MRI at MOI because one size doesn't fit everyone. MOI offers two different MRI options. Our full body MRI allows physicians and radiologists to see multiple high contrast images of both bone and muscle, while our smaller extremity MRI is for when only an arm or leg needs to be scanned. Parents often accompany their children during this relatively brief scan. Whichever MRI your doctor chooses, you'll have easy access and prompt results from the team at MOI. You can MRI at MOI. Adventures await in the Lexus LX, RX, and new seven-passenger GX. Lease the 2013 RX 350 for $399 a month for 36 months. See your Lexus dealer. Monday, the Blackhawks head north for a division collision with the Wild. Playoff payback may be on the minds of men from Minnesota after last season's first round clash. Coverage of Hawks and Wild begins at 6.30 Monday night on Comcast Sportsnet. 38-3 our score here at the half. Northern Illinois leading Eastern Michigan and we're glad to have you along with us. Mike Cousins, Bob Kamel, now joined by Dr. Doug Baker, the new president here at Northern Illinois University. Dr. Baker, welcome to the booth and I know it's been an exciting time for you. July 1st is when you came into office, and since you've been here, what have been your priorities with Northern Illinois University? Well, we've really tried to focus on student career success. We're really interested in our students coming here, learning in the classroom, but also becoming ready for life and work afterwards. So we're trying to build a network of support with our alumni, with uh, mentors, so that when students get out, they're not only ready to graduate, but they're ready to go on to life and work and employment. So we, we really want to focus on getting them ready for that and have those job prospects out there so they're employed when they get out. You came here with a structure and a plan for knowing what you want to do. Four pillars, what are the? Well, the, at the peak of uh, what we're trying to do is student career success. And so we want to build on all the curricular and extracurricular activities that leads them to gain those skills and the maturity so that they're uh, successful as they go on out into life, whether it be graduate school or work. Underneath that, we're trying to do a number of things. One is to build a sustainable financial model. And unfortunately, in this state, as many, the financial model has been uh, hurt a little bit by the state's decline in support because of all the pressures in the economy. So we're working to build a financial model that uh, is resilient to that. Second thing we're doing is uh, building a strong leadership in team, uh, team inside the university through ethically inspired leadership. And then finally, uh, we're working to build community. We're building community inside the university so we can work together toward common goals like student career success, and then reaching out into our surrounding communities and really building that relationship so we have a vibrant community that attracts and retains faculty, staff, and students. Dr. Baker, your, your background is very much uh, 
ensconced in the great Northwest. It is. Idaho. What was the attraction to come to DeKalb, Illinois, to Northern Univer Illinois University? Northern Illinois University and its amazing potential. We have really great faculty, staff, and students. We have a strong culture, a huge alumni base, uh, almost a quarter million alumni here in the local area. We think we can really draw on those folks to help our students be mentored, do internships, build the uh, networking for jobs and careers, and on to graduate school as well. So uh, all those pieces just made this an amazingly attractive place for me to come and for students to come and study. Now, more so than ever, in the greater scheme of college athletics and the university, what is your goal for the balance? I know football yeah. uh, is obviously has to be number one. But there has to be a broad-based athletic program with equality for, for all members of the athletic department. Absolutely, and I think our new practice field that we just opened this weekend, the Chessick practice field, is a great example of that. Our donors stepped up and uh, donated almost $10 million to help us build a wonderful indoor practice field. That's going to help us recruit football players, but all sports, to, to practice in that facility. It's going to help us attract great band players, too, who can practice inside that facility. And building athletics builds a school spirit, and we've got that. And a school spirit helps attract and retain students so that they're uh, in this vibrant culture, this college environment that's so strong. And so uh, I, I just think of a facility like that helps that balance. It, it builds the university, the community, it draws people here, it keeps them here. I think that's just uh, a great example of the quality we're building at the university. Dr. Doug Baker, president of Northern Illinois University, thank you very much for the time. Thanks, Mike and Bob. Thank Good you, to sir. have you. Thank you. 38-3, the Huskies in front. A good day all around for NIU in DeKalb. Is there something lurking on your bank statement? Hiding just out of sight? If you look, you might find them. ATM and monthly service fees, minimum balance and direct deposit requirements, all hiding in what some banks call free checking. You won't find that with our Castle Checking. Free, not fee. No catch, no hoops, no hidden fees. Don't be left in the dark. Compare their checking to ours at ourchecking.com. The more you know, the more you'll choose Kish Health System. At Kish Health System, we never forget that the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. But we're more than just innovation and technology. Kish Health System is powered by an incredible team that is working hard to put healthcare back in your hands. That's empowered healthcare. Kish Health System, be health empowered. NIU fans, when you enter the Village Commons Bookstore, you're entering Husky Country. VCB is the official site for NIU Athletics, featuring the NIU Husky logo on a wide range of hats, t-shirts, shorts, sweats, and NIU logo gifts and accessories. Whether you're a student, graduate, or fan of NIU Athletics, the Village Commons Bookstore is your official Husky headquarters. Visit us at the stadium on game day or at our store in DeKalb at 901 Lucinda or on the web at www.vcbs.com. Man pioneers a way to see the unseen, leading to radar, forever providing early warnings and safer journeys. The conviction to create a safer journey is the Mazda way. The Mazda 6 uses radar lasers and sensors to detect objects and even apply the brakes for you. Introducing the modern sports sedan, the Mazda 6. What do you drive? 56 cubic feet of space, five adjustable seats, versatile enough for anything. But that's not what makes it a BMW. That is. The BMW X1. We only make one thing. The ultimate driving machine. Right now, during the first and goal sales event, get a BMW X1 with xDrive with zero money down. A dominant first half effort for the Northern Illinois Huskies. 38-3 at the break. What a day it has been. And we're only halfway through for this team led by redshirt senior quarterback right out of the heart of Chicago, Jordan Lynch. Well, you mentioned right out of the heart of Chicago, Mount Carmel High School, coached by Frank Lenti. Uh, again, running the football, throwing the football, leadership, poise, 
Uh, look at this run. I mean, this is a run that a running back would make. Well, coach player, did you see that? Had the ball in the right hand, moved it to the left hand, to the sideline. Excellent throw. I mean, the way the plethora of plays that they use, and he has success in every one of those plays. But I, again, my eyes go back to this offensive line. Maybe, again, one of the best coach offensive lines that I've seen in college football this year. Wide receiver Tommy Lee Lewis isn't a big guy, 5'7", 155, but through the air or on the ground, he's been a big part of the game. Through the air and on the ground and through the air throwing the football, selling the, the sweep, planting his legs, squaring his shoulders, throwing the ball. Here we see right here, great job on the out route, trying to tiptoe through the sideline. He's having an unbelievable day. And then this deep pass here between two defenders at the highest point at 5-7. At 5-7, he beat the both of them. First half stats brought to you by Midwest Orthopedic Institute, the official team physicians of NIU Athletics. To see how the MOI team can help you, call 815-758-0000 or visit m-o-i.com. Well, as you look at the statistics here, I think one of the deals is uh, it's a little bit construed in the sense that Northern Illinois hasn't had to throw the football. I think if the game were a bit closer, you'd see a little bit more balance. But these 384 yards rushing, 200-plus yards throwing the football, come on. This is a big-time, big-time offense. 35 points, the advantage for the Huskies. The flock that swims together, passes together, runs together, wins together. The Huskies looking for 8-0 when the second half starts. Husky fans, Fatty's Pub and Grill in DeKalb is your official pre- and post-game NIU football headquarters. Whether you're catching a game on our big screens or having some of our famous grilled food out in our beer garden, Fatty's is the place to be. Reserve your date for your holiday party at Fatty's. And if you're looking for catering for your next event, Fatty's also offers full service on and off-site catering. For more information, go to fattyspub.com or call 815-758-7737. You can MRI at MOI because one size doesn't fit everyone. MOI offers two different MRI options. Our full body MRI allows physicians and radiologists to see multiple high contrast images of both bone and muscle, while our smaller extremity MRI is for when only an arm or leg needs to be scanned. Parents often accompany their children during this relatively brief scan. Whichever MRI your doctor chooses, you'll have easy access and prompt results from the team at MOI. You can MRI at MOI. The 17th annual Marathon Mac Football Championship game returns to Ford Field in Detroit Friday, December 6th. Don't miss your chance to catch one of only six major college conference championship games live. Visit the Ford Field ticket office, Gate G, Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Call 877-212-8898 to charge by phone or visit fordfield.com slash tickets. The Mac Football Championship is presented by Marathon, fueling the American spirit. Okay, it's the Built Ford Tough sales event, so let's crunch the numbers. See, when it comes to building stuff and hauling stuff to keep America growing, more folks count on Ford F-150. Hey, the numbers don't lie, and only Ford F-150 has the best combo of fuel economy and torque. That's EcoBoost technology, pal. Hey, it all adds up to one thing. We own work. Get an F-150 with 0% financing for 60 months, or choose 6000 in cash savings plus 2000 extra for your trade. This is corporate headquarters. As you can see, I have a unique business. How do I compete with the big boys? I've got this fancy business address, a marketing department, a distribution center, and a great team, great team, even a cafeteria. That's mine. From packing and shipping to printing and mailbox services, come into the UPS store for everything a small business needs. I love logistics. Second half kickoff. The second half of NIU football on Comcast Sportsnet is presented by Hy-Vee, the official grocery partner of NIU Athletics. Hy-Vee, where there's a helpful smile in every aisle. 38-3, the undefeated Northern Illinois Huskies at 7-0. Overpowering the Eastern Michigan Eagles through the first 30 minutes of play. Here we go, getting set for the second half. Tyler Weedle 
kicks away for the Huskies. Back deep, it's Tyler Allen. And the ball will go out to the 25 for Eastern Michigan. Today's sideline reports presented by Frontier Communications, the official telecommunications company of NIU Athletics. Let's go down to the sideline. Kelly Crawl, what's Eastern Michigan going to try here to get the ball moving? Well, we'll see. Obviously, they thought the answer in the first half was Bronson Hill, and one of the things Coach Ron English said about him from a year ago where he has really improved is that he was always looking for the home run, the, the big play, and not just going for the little runs, but he spent a lot of time, to his credit, in the film room watching himself with a guy you might remember, guys, from Michigan, Mike Hart, of course, their running backs coach here, and he says now he understands why every run matters, every drive. You see him out there doing the little things. We saw early in the game he had a few big runs but obviously they're going to need to do a lot more than just hand the ball off to him every time you know kelly uh, mentions mike hart i mean mike hart's going to be an outstanding football coach he's a young football coach and if i wanted one guy to tutor my running backs it would be mike hart and i think bronson hill does well to draw from mike's mike hart's knowledge get with him in, the, in, in every opportunity that he has tell mike hart Make me, take me, and make me the best football player I can be. There's Mike Hart right there. Here's Brogan Roback, the freshman, back into the game, slinging deep from the quarterback spot and incomplete. So it's been a switching rotation at quarterback. He was looking for Donald Scott. Roback, the freshman from Maumee, Ohio. Tyler Benz, the incumbent, did not start the game, played most of the second quarter. Now it's Roback once again under center. This is becoming an interesting dynamic. Uh, you know, you couldn't do this unless you had absolute trust in Tyler Benz as a person. Third down and 10 for Eastern Michigan. Tyler Benz from Maine South High School, basically right down the street. Shied away from Bronson Hill. That's a first down run for Javante Green. They switched it up, going with the senior from West Palm Beach, Florida. Mike, I have to correct myself. Tyler Benz is from Maine Township South High School. I put the direction initially in the wrong place. Maine Township South, Park Ridge, Illinois. And recruiting around the Chicago area has brought them two of their best players, Tyler Benz. And Bronson Hill, or rather I shouldn't say Bronson Hill, but Tyrese Russell from Melrose Park, the tight end, who's their leading receiver. We haven't called his name much today. But Ron English told us about Kurt Anderson, a former assistant coach on his staff, now working under Doug Marone with the Buffalo Bills, who made it a priority to recruit around Chicago. Well, Anderson's basically from the near northwest suburbs, had a big name here. His, his brother had a big name here uh, in the area as football players, greatly respected. And that's how when you put a staff together, you kind of determine, you know, I, I have to have great football coaches, but I have to have great recruiters. Where do I want to recruit? I want to recruit this area or that area. I'm going to get guys on the staff that are familiar with the area and have the respect of the high school coaches. Roll back. To Russell. And there the tight end, the junior from Melrose Park, helps the Eagles get a first down. Good job here. Definitely his primary receiver. Never looked any other way. Didn't go through a progression. Felt strongly about the route that it would be open. And it's one of those deals. It's either open or Roback's got to take off with the football. When it comes to recruiting, now fifth year for Ron English, these are all his guys. So the record really reflects on what he's been able to bring into the program. Cut back run for Javante Green. Now inside the 35-yard line, pickup of six. A little bit of a change up back with Green. A little bit of a different kind of back, more so probably an outside runner than the inside runner that Bronson Hill is. You know, the, Democra the demographic in this conference years ago was very provincial, and it is still somewhat. Ohio, Indiana, Pennsylvania, Michigan, uh, Indiana. But now as you look through these teams, these mid-American teams, there are a lot of players 
from the south, a lot of players from junior colleges out west. Uh, they've really spread their wings, and, and, and that's indicative of the attraction of playing at this level of football. Five-yard carry up the middle for Green. And it's a first down. Now this is the heaviest workload of the season for Javante Green. Coming into this game, he had five carries for negative five yards. Bronson Hill, 132 carries. And right now, Green has touched the ball eight times for 32 yards. Roll back under pressure, and he makes the smart play to get rid of it. You know, you mentioned green statistics, minus five yards. But the fact is, when you look to your bench, if he's the best that you have, he has to play. Good pressure here by the Huskies. Excellent job, great pursuit. You see who got through there, Michael Santa Catarina. He's been all over the field. Well, we saw him once in contain that he kept the quarterback in front of him. Another time we saw him in coverage. Now we see him rushing the passer. He's having quite a day. And you know, as I mentioned before, I, I really didn't know that until this past week. He actually came here as a walk-on from Geneva High School, which is basically down the street, so to speak. Early movement, the defensive line for the Huskies. Pointing at Jake Herkham, the center for Eastern Michigan. Two questions. Before the, before the ball was snapped, snap infraction, offense number 50. Five yard penalty, still second down. Here's the, here, watch this. He probably couldn't see it. He probably started to just pull the back, ball back just a little bit. How is a center off guard and how does a middle guard jump offside? These are two coaching questions that you could probably give a clinic on for about a week. The middle guard is looking at the football. The center has the football in his hand. Roll back, sideline, and a completion. They gain some of that back. Broback, good throw. Excellent throw, right on the money. But you know what, they're not asking him to go to a, through a progression. He's looking right now where he's going to throw the football. Good throw, away from the coverage. A freshman to a sophomore, Quincy Jones, two Buckeye State natives as well. So after a 12-yard pickup, third and two as they try and get inside the red zone. Third downs have been tough today for the Eagles. This time they convert. Run made by Green. Well, big Jake Herkham Jackal redeemed himself Green right Green. there from his offside with a great and push as the center as long with Orlando McCord, the right guard. Gain of six on the rush. Okay, the I mentioned the middle guard Michigan. going offside, the center going offside. Here's my third question that I have for you. A kicker kicking off and not keeping the ball in bounds. It's your one job, right? Absolutely. What else do you do all day? I mean, come on. Eight of maybe one on a handoff to Green. That third down conversion was big there for the Eagles. Just their second and ten tries today. That makes for tough sledding. Now, this again, I like to say, you know what? Stan Parrish, fake that ball inside, run a little option, and let's see if Roback could get out on the perimeter. Second and 10 for the Huskies. Because the, the, the Huskies obviously are packing it down inside. Fake that little shot inside, give him the football, let him go out on the perimeter, see what he can do. From the 15, Roback looking end zone, one on one, tipped away, and nearly intercepted. A couple of chances for the Huskies defense looking for Dustin Creel in the green and white. This is again, this becomes a jump ball. The highest point. I want to be at the highest point before the receiver is at the highest point. In other words, it's a whole lot about timing. Deshaun Durant in there. Jamal Bass, a linebacker. Johnny Faustin, strong cornerback on this team. Now third and ten. Rowback over the middle, and it's incomplete. 
Pass from Romack incomplete. To Shane Durant. Excellent football play. Good drive on the ball after the ball's thrown. What you're telling a defensive back is that when the quarterback raises raises his arms to throw the ball, you start to fade in that direction. Now the ball is thrown, drive in that direction. Fade, drive. Don't drive until he starts to come off the football. 32 yard drive for the sophomore Dylan Mulder. got the distance and he just crosses the pipes. Eastern Michigan scoring for the first time since the first quarter. He used his pitching wedge that time. That was definitely not a, a four iron. That was a pitching wedge. I thought the ball might come back. Well, he's got a long putt. They're down 38 to six. The more you know, the more you'll choose Kish Health System. At Kish Health System, we never forget that the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. But we're more than just innovation and technology. Kish Health System is powered by an incredible team that is working hard to put healthcare back in your hands. That's empowered healthcare. Kish Health System, be health empowered. Before you know it, tomorrow is here. So we don't just build cars for today, we also build them for tomorrow. The Mitsubishi Outlander Sport Limited Edition, an IIHS top safety pick with advanced all-wheel control and a 10-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranty. Get our best deal of the year and buy a new Outlander Sport during our Max Matson Mitsubishi's Overstock Indigestion Sales Event. Or at least one for only $99 per month. MaxMatson.com. I didn't come for the massage, I came for the facial! Awesome and long. Bulls basketball lives on one network. Comcast Sportsnet. Catch your favorite team from every angle. Unbelievable highlights. Oh, hard hand, left tail, always punching the clock. Behind the scenes access. And every moment from tip off to post game. All season long, Bulls basketball lives on one network. Comcast Sportsnet. Fans best friend. Carey leading the Northern Illinois Huskies to the second half lead 954 in the third and the second half of NIU football on Comcast Sportsnet presented by Hy-V, the official grocery partner of NIU Athletics. Hy-V, where there's a helpful smile in every aisle. How about that music video? If I'm Northern Illinois, I'm getting that music video. It's going to go out to every recruit, sending it to them. Young guys like things like that, you know, the upbeat and all that stuff. Those music videos are great. It's good to be Rod Carey right now. First season. He's 8-0 and this year. Well, if he gets a win today, he is 7-0 and right now. Flag on the kick. And they just opened up the new Chessick Practice Center here on campus, which will be a big recruiting draw. Now, we have a secret, and I don't know if I could keep it. It was supposed to be open for the very first time today. Coach Carey told us last week he got with some of the construction workers and the athletic Free director. Kick out of kick, 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 kick. And made it practice ready. Sometime. Today was actually the first day. I like what uh, President Baker said, though. It's just not going to be a football facility. It's going to be a soccer facility. It's going to, I mean, all, all sports across the board. I love that concept. We're going to have to hear more about that coming up later in this quarter. And I use Associate Vice President and Director of Athletics, Sean Fraser, will join us on the air. We'll hear about what's going on in Husky Athletics, including that new facility. First down, Tommy Lee Lewis off the pass from Jordan Lynch. Has Tommy Lee Lewis been fun to watch today, Mike, or what? He's been incredible. Running, Huskies. catching, throwing for a touchdown. Helping the Huskies out to this big lead. 
Lynch looked to Lewis. Carry for about five. Good coverage on Lewis. Very prudent move by Lynch, taking the football, running with it. You know, I mentioned the, the uh, recruiting demographic. Commonly, Lewis comes from Riviera, excuse me, Riviera Beach, Florida, from W.T. Dwyer High School. It's a little bit of a distance and a little bit of change in weather. It's probably not quite as chilly there as it is here today. First down for the Huskies as they go inside the 30 to James Spencer, the redshirt junior running back. Now they've spread it out a lot. Keith Harris, one of their running backs, out for the year with foot surgery. Cameron Stingley has been a feature back, but it's been a real team effort out of the backfield today. I like that. I really do. And that really gives defensive coordinators something to think about. It's not one-dimensional. A lot of guys with a lot of different abilities. Lynch goes up the middle. He swallowed up by the defensive line. Donald Coleman, the safety, was in there. North Carolina State transfer. He came here basically a la the way Russell Wilson left NC State to go to Wisconsin, graduated high school early, only used three years of eligibility and was able to play right away for Ron English. Well, you're seeing more and more of that across the country. I don't know about the early enrollment deal. I, I don't know how I'd feel about that. You know, bringing a young guy in in February or, or in January, I'd like to see some a study on that, some statistics as to the success rate. Lynch to Deron Brown, he hangs on. And the Huskies keep on rolling here in the third quarter. Nice job of getting that to correction to the stadium announcer there, Mike. How about this Jerron Brown? How about this throw? Great route. Jerron Brown, young guy from Morgan Park High School in the proud Chicago Public League. All-state hurdler, high school captain. Young guy, you, you take a guy like that every time. His sixth touchdown catch of the year leads the team. Lynch now 16 of 20 for 223 yards and four touchdowns. So a week after he sets a quarterback rushing record with 316 yards on the ground, Lynch goes to the air and grows the Husky advantage. Northern Illinois University. Grit. Determination. Tenacity. We are Huskies. Champions. In the classroom. In competition. In life. We are Northern Illinois University. Learning today. Leading tomorrow. NHL Center Ice puts the excitement of the NHL in your hands. Trying to pull to the pass and he scores! With up to 40 out-of-market games a week, you choose the superstars and super matchups you watch every night of the season. And it's from Stamkos! Watch Stamkos on Saturday, Dave's on Sunday, Malkin on Monday. With NHL Center Ice, the game lives where you do. Don't miss another moment of action. Call 1-800-GET-SPORTS for the lowest price in five years. Are you in the market for a new vehicle? Then look to Riverfront Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. We offer low financing combined with huge discounts. Looking for low monthly payments? Riverfront has incredible new lease programs. Or if you're in the market for a certified pre-owned vehicle, search buy at riverfront.com. Need warranty or routine maintenance? Go to the front of the line at Riverfront. Whatever you're looking for, you'll find it at Riverfront Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, just off I-88 in the North Aurora Auto Mall. We're doing it right, and we're doing it all for you. NIU football on Comcast Sportsnet is presented by Midwest Orthopedic Institute, the official team physicians of NIU Athletics. By Village Commons Bookstore, your home for officially licensed NIU merchandise. Visit vcbs.com. And by Thaddeus Pub and Grill, the official pre- and post-game headquarters of NIU Athletics. Well, it's a hefty lead for Northern Illinois. 45 to 6, 8 11 to play here in the third quarter. And a nice day as they try and improve to 8 and 0 oh, and 4 and 0 oh 
in the MAC. Tyler Weedle getting set to kick it away. There's Deron Brown, who pulled in that long touchdown reception from Jordan Lynch, who's gone to the air for four scores today. Tyler Allen takes it at the 12-yard line with some room to run out to the 40. So a nice return of 28 yards for Tyler Allen to get the offense going here for Eastern Michigan. Still looking to reach the end zone for the first time this afternoon. Excellent return. Good job by the return team. As I mentioned before, you don't have to go downfield and knock somebody down. Just get in front of them, get a hat on a hat, and let the ball carrier make a cut off the block. First down. Johnny Faustin offsides for Northern Illinois on the kick. So the ball moves out to the 45 for Eastern Michigan. The quarterback carousel continues. Brogan Roback, his drive led to three. So now Tyler Benz, the redshirt junior from Park Ridge, Illinois, is back out onto the field. They go back to their mainstay. Javante Green has gotten the bulk of the load today. 12-yard carry, and now a couple flags come in at the end of the run, well after the ball carrier was down. Tackle made by Santa Catarina. Santa Catarina saved a touchdown here. Again, in great pursuit. After the play, dead ball personal foul. Number 49 of the defense. 15 yards are added to the end of the run. Automatic first down. Junior Jason Meehan flagged for the personal foul. Number 49. No reason at all for that. I will, I promise you Rod Carey will have words for him. After the penalty, first and 10 for Easter Michigan. He shoved the offensive lineman Robert McFadden to the ground. Well, you have to keep your composure. So in total, they get 27 yards in the run of 12, and the personal foul penalty, 15 more. Bends back to throw to the sideline, complete to Russell, and he carries it up to the nine-yard line. Now, that time, I think Tyler Benz really did go through a bit of a profession. Uh, he looked over to his left, progression, came back over to his right, well-thrown football. He and Russell have been around for a while. He anticipated where he'd be. That's a quarterback and a, and a receiver both on the, same, uh, on the same page. Russell, the team's leading receiver with a gain of 19, and it's a first and goal. Gain of maybe one for Javante Green. Well, this is where you've got your experienced quarterback, but Benz has made things a little bit difficult for the offense. Nine touchdowns, eight interceptions. The red zone offense for Ron English's squad, 119th in the country. A lot of credit there to Mario Jones. Big nose guard, six feet, 275 pound freshman from Hubbard High School in Chicago. Came across the line of scrimmage, redirected, and made the play. From nine yards out, Benz incomplete. Benz from Benz incomplete. Intended receiver, Dustin Creel. You know, it would be interesting to know the, the quarterback shuffling that's going on here with Eastern. Good job there defensively, guys getting their arms up. Goal from the nine. Benz finds his favorite target, Tyrese Russell, for the touchdown. And it took about 40 minutes for them to get to the end zone, but they do it. And it's 45-12. Well, again, he knows exactly who he's going to go to as soon as he takes the snap. He looks for his favorite target, his best receiver. Mark you know, and a guy that is, again, one of the things you talk about receivers, is he dependable? Because if he's not dependable, that quarterback's going to, isn't going to throw him the football. 
And you know, a big part of that drive right there was that penalty. Your score, Huskies 45. And you know, that foolish penalty. And again, you know, uh, you mentioned Jason Meehan. Right after that play was over, I mentioned Rock Carey. Jason Meehan was a spectator. You can MRI at MOI because one size doesn't fit everyone. MOI offers two different MRI options. Our full body MRI allows physicians and radiologists to see multiple high contrast images of both bone and muscle, while our smaller extremity MRI is for when only an arm or leg needs to be scanned. Parents often accompany their children during this relatively brief scan. Whichever MRI your doctor chooses, you'll have easy access and prompt results from the team at MOI. You can MRI at MOI. I am a helpful smile in seafood. We have more fresh fish flown in daily from the dock to my case in two days. Ivy's is one of the only retailers in the nation with their own USDC seafood inspector. We've got amazing seafood from all around the world. King crab flown in from the Bering Sea. We catch fish and shrimp right out of Louisiana. Oh yeah, this is fresh. Look at it. I am a helpful. Sustainable. USDC inspected. Two days flown in, fresh smile. And that's my promise. Faster than a speeding bullet with a spinorama that will make you dizzy. A spinorama shot up to Patrick Kane and holds the finish it. And around the right end. When he flies down the ice, there's no stopping Kaner. Moves right in, shoot, he scores! Patrick Kane! Here's the shot, he scores! Hawks win! Watch Hawks. Patrick Kane and his crew on their quest for the cup. All season on Comcast Sportsnet. The law office of Amato and Sheen reminds you that this broadcast of Northern Illinois University football is authorized under rights granted to Comcast Sportsnet. Any reproduction or rebroadcast without the express written consent of Comcast Sportsnet and NIU is strictly prohibited. Through about 40 minutes, NIU had prohibited Eastern Michigan from crossing the goal line until Tyler Benz from nine yards out find Tyrese Russell. Good throw, good catch. Obviously, Benz is going to Russell right out the gate. Russell drives inside, sells the inside route, plants his foot, goes to the outside. Good route, good catch, causes separation from the defender. Benz three for seven in the passing game. Russell, the majority of the offense on that drive, Four catches, 90 yards on the day, and that was his third touchdown catch of the year, tying him for the team lead with Creel. Angelo Sebastiano on the return for Northern Illinois. Hasn't had a lot of room to run today. He takes that to the 40. A lot of streaks on the line coming into this game for Northern Illinois. 23 straight home wins. Their last loss at home, September of 09. And 20 straight MAC wins. And 17 home straight MAC wins. So those look like they're well in hand here with a 45 13 advantage. Jordan Lynch with a ball cap on. And now early motion. That's a nice sight to see for NIU fans with Jordan Lynch being able to rest with this large advantage. More importantly, a healthy Jordan and Lynch with a ball cap on. I will tell you, though, he will stay in the game from a mental aspect. Sixteen of twenty, two twenty-three, and four touchdowns. Just a yard shy of hitting a hundred. So Jordan Lynch happy to call it a day and healthy. And his backup Matt McIntosh with a handoff here after the penalty on a first and five. Another day at the office. I mean, week in and week out, his performance—it just—it's mind-boggling. McIntosh gives it away on second and one. That's a Husky first down. Well, Lynch last week, the 316 yards, broke the record for an FBS quarterback, previously held by another NIU quarterback, Stacy Robinson, which had stood for 23 years. It was 308 yards, and that was in a triple option offense. Lynch did it, really, with his legs and taking what was given by Central Michigan in that win last week. 
It's amazing how long that record lasted. And you mentioned the offense that it was was acquired in. Basically, just I, I believe a lot of wishbone football at that time. You know, we, we go. Good job here again. I can't say enough about this offensive line. Really surprised by the athleticism of these big guys. You know, uh, let's let's take this a step farther. Jordan Lynch is is just unbelievable. But you know that is is uh, indicative of hours and days and months of great coaching. He's surrounded by a great cast. I, I think he'd be the first person to mention that to you. And, but but still, the coaches that have come and gone here over the past four or five years and handling handing that mantle to the next group and to have that continuity, even though there were coaching changes, I, I've never seen this before in college football. Now with Lynch, there's lots of talk about him being a Heisman Trophy candidate. He finished seventh in the voting last year. But an article in USA Today talking about his candidacy. There's a big throw by McIntosh. He goes end zone. And the scoring continues for Northern Illinois. Sideline jubilation. Matt Williams, the redshirt freshman from right down the road in Geneva. I mean, does it get any better than this? Double coverage. Splits the double coverage. McIntosh, tra trajectory of the floor. Line, great blocking. In the end zone. A total team effort. Well, Matt McIntosh had only played in two games, completed one pass prior to today. Now he'll find.